Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me and that's because I really haven't had much time to sit down and edit my videos and make new content, but I'm back now and hopefully I'll be able to have a more consistent schedule throughout summer now. So anyway guys, I have a very special video for you today. I am unboxing my brand new editing computer which is going to be the mid-2017 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. I am so excited to get this. I'm still waiting for it to come in the mail. And let me tell you this, before anybody comments I'm an Apple fanboy, let me tell you I am an Apple fanboy. I have no shame in that, okay? I have the MacBook Pro, my current one, and then I also have the Watch Series 3, the 8 Plus, the Phone 8 Plus, and then I also have the iPad. So yeah, I'm just so excited to get this new... Oh, they're here, I better go get it. Oh, thanks sir, appreciate it. We got it, guys. Let's go unbox this. Let's go. All right, guys, here it is, my new MacBook Pro. Now, before we get to the unboxing of this video, let's briefly talk about the specs I got on this new machine. Of course, this is the 15-inch mid-2017 MacBook Pro. It comes with a 2.9 i7 Intel quad-core processor, 16 gigs of LPDDR3 RAM, and a 512 gigabyte PCLE-based SSD. Now, I'm so excited to unbox this, so let's do that right now. All right, guys, let's get right into this unboxing. Now, many people usually have a knife and all that, to, you know, a big fancy cut or whatever. Um, I play guitar. Some of you already have figured this out, and I can just use my nails to cut right through this plastic back here. And uh, Apple, you know what? Apple's presentation as far as how they, you know, package their products and all that kind of stuff is always top of the notch. They always do an awesome job. Okay. Here we go, the moment of truth. Opening the top, this vacuum sealed like box that Apple always has. And oh my goodness, there it is. I am so, 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 so excited about this. Apple gives us a little tab for their computers. Look how thin this is. I mean, look how thin this really is. It's really light too. And uh, that's pretty incredible. Sorry for the camera, not focusing. Quickly, we'll go through the contents of the box that you will get. You will get the charging cord, which Apple has now decided to separate from the charging block, which in my opinion was a smart move. I know with the other MagSafe chargers, I've always had issues with them going bad on me or whatever, and then I have to buy a new one, which almost cost $100, so it's nice they finally separated the cord. Okay, the other thing inside the box is, of course, this little thing right here. It tells you, you know, all the information, little instructions or whatever. Apple stickers, we're not going to get into that. That's unnecessary. And finally, we've got the charging block. Okay, that's enough with the box. As much as I love the box of Apple products, here is the piece that we've been waiting for, which is the actual MacBook Pro. Um, let's take it out of the plastic. So basically, like that and like that and we'll throw that to the side for now this is the brand new macbook pro okay guys so i've been using my brand new macbook pro for the last few days and i've really been impressed with the performance of this thing now a lot of you uh pc users out there will argue it's not the fastest computer in the world but it's fast enough for me and i really enjoy using this Another reason I go with Apple is because of the aesthetics. Apple's machines are absolutely beautiful, and I don't think anyone, even if you hate Apple, can deny that. Some of the other features of this computer I really enjoy is, of course, the new keyboard, the butterfly keyboard. I found that really cool, and some people hate that. In fact, a lot of people hate it but I think it's really cool and it actually is very comfortable to type on. The other thing I enjoy about this computer is the touch bar. Now at first I was kind of skeptical, I thought it was kind of gimmicky, but at the same time I was going to give it a chance and after actually using it I thought man this could be really cool if Apple started adding some new things to the touch bar. Finally this thing is thin compared to the old MacBook Pro and I thought my Retina MacBook Pro was thin, but this thing is so skinny. Guys, and the beautiful space gray finish is absolutely amazing. I love the look of that space gray. 
Thanks guys for watching my video and do you like the new MacBook Pro or do you think it's a waste of money and uh, a waste of time? Let me know in the comments below. And guys as always please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you want to know when we upload new videos just click the little bell and it'll let you know. Thanks guys for watching as always and please have a great day. Thank you.